one thing that research is very clear about is there are enormous differences in teacher effectiveness based on what children learn or fail to learn in a classroom. A teacher in the top 20%, the top quintile, will impart on average about 18 months of learning in one academic year. A teacher in the bottom quintile, six months of learning in one academic year. That's a full year's difference or a three-fold difference in effectiveness. Sadly, we have a profession that doesn't recognize the contributions of our most effective teachers or the harm done to children by our least effective teachers. Let me, uh, if you could put up slide 64, I'm sorry, 67, 67. Uh, this is from uh, Rebecca Malawski. She says, teacher effectiveness is very hard to measure. You need to look at what kids say about whether their teacher's effective in helping them understand material. You need to ask parents, how do you feel about this teacher? What does the principal say about them after a lot of classroom observation? What do their peers think? And finally, what do the test scores say? If you put that all together, you have a really nice picture of the teacher. But in our current systems, 98% of our teachers get effective or highly effective grades. But if you look at the performance of our students on NAEP exams or other standardized tests, that just doesn't make sense at all. I've contended that, for, that we don't pay our best teachers nearly enough. We pay our least effective teachers far too much. And the challenge is to get our, we challenge is to get our most effective teachers in the schools that desperately need them. And that means we gotta change the compensation system. But before you change the compensation system, you have to have an evaluation system in place that is fair, valid, and reliable. So that's the first step that we're working on right now.